Alright, guess what? You know already what I'm gonna say. I am on NixOS and Hyperland is installed. So if you're using my configurations, you'll get exact the same thing, I hope, right? That's the point of NixOS. So we can reproduce any of our configs somewhere else. The um, elements up here, the font that we're using is not exactly the same. So you need to figure out to change it if you want to keep think, uh, keep working on it. You need to actually change the font in here, the icon, that's a volume icon, I suppose. And um, these guys have been found. This is memory, I think. So change, some of these guys have been altered, not all. This one works, that one works, and that one works, and that's it. And as you see, the font eh, is not is, is available. It's, it's installed, but it's not working. So you need to figure out what font will I take and then start changing everything gradually over time. But there you go, Hyperlint is no problem. You can install it, you can use it. And I've, as a default, I've um, taken um, Gonzoli rather than this particular uh, kitty, I think it was. So do whatever you want, right? Uh, choose to install other fonts and, and, and other modules, etc., etc. What's interesting in my build today, I always get tired after a while of a certain workflow. If it takes too long, I script things, right? I have this rebuild thing, which is going to git pull everything from the internet. So git pull from the clone, from the, the GitHub. Then he's gonna build everything. And then he's gonna copy paste all the configs over. So it's just rebuild, reboot, and voila, we're back in business. So it's another script that may interest you. All right, cheers.